Hi there, I'm Darren Forrest. Guess what I'm playing? Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Oh yeah. How long has it been, boys? 1990s, when you hit the road to save some Sasquatches by turning the entire freaking US into some sort of giant Evertree reserve? Yeah. That was good times. Remember the time when you stuck a vortex in a snow globe? That was awesome too. Or the time you killed a dragon in a virtual reality world in order to get a real life key? That made sense. Oh yeah. Good times indeed. Let's do more crazy crap. Woo! Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. I know I, I did. A sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? No, you don't. Uh, Leave Swiss cheese by the oh, rat hole, wait. or you'll never That's see odd. your precious. Normally Sam gets it, again. but I guess the uh, phone is gone. Okay. Sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Ooh. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's yeah, Swiss cheese, that. right? And be quick about it. Okay. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little burp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm aware there are three seasons of this, and my favorite one is the third one, but I figure that it's only fair that we start off the first season and keep on going. Telltale Games is the creator of this particular version, version of the Sam and Max Adventure series, and frankly... They did the impossible and broke the curse of licensed games sucking. Open the freak. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Don't recall that much cheese being there, but okay. Let's get some cheese. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rap was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Okay. What? Wait a second. I recognize that. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces oh my of paper God. that we're never gonna look at again? Oh man! I yes, yes. Look at that. The human enigma. That's a reference to Hit the Road. Yes, because at the beginning of Hit the Road, you're trying to investigate a missing Sasquatch from a local circus freak thingy, and one of the other displays is the human enigma. Man, that's awesome. And Jesse James Hand. Wait, yeah, that happened in that game too. You had to take Jesse James Hand in order to get something. All right, let's see what. To, what is that? Oh no, I remember? Here we go. Inventory is usually letter I, right, in those games. So, oh, it's a box. Ooh, it's a gun. It's a gun. It's a gun. A big gun. Oh yes, shoot things. Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Aw, shoot the hand. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome! Uh, shoot the volleyball. Shoot the volley cabinet. Shoot him on the board. Shoot a rat hole. Right in the rat hole. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay, the novelty's worn off. Let's just get going. Take that, you law breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! No, it's not. I think not. And now it's Swiss cheese. Because, you know, Swiss cheese has holes in it. So, if normal cheese doesn't work, then just put holes in normal cheese, because that works. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Yeah. That's one of the more infamous things about point and click adventure games. You gotta think outside the box to get the right answer. You know? But fortunately, good ones are usually able to give you some reasonable doubt. Except for certain other aspects, you know, like put gem in mouth. Really? Who the hell would think of that? Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. And the members the of phone. Sam and Max would like their phone back now. Yes, please. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. 
A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Can you rebuttal with violence? Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Ooh. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. Really? Because I seem to recall in the first game that you had to get a note from the commissioner by grabbing it from the inside of a living animal and throwing it outside of window. Or was it into an alleyway? I don't care. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, Perk. Go ahead. I've been in a little hungry. A dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Yeah. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Uh, Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Really? That's an idea. It's... I'd be happy to let you down off the desk if you'll hand over our phone. Nah, it ain't all that scary. Oh, let's make it scarier then. There we go. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Yes, he would. Wait, I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. Right, right. <laughs> ascot. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! <laughs> Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. So it was inside him. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? <laughs> it was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Ooh, corner store. Ooh, dartboard. One Sweet of these darts. days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. <laughs> I love this game sense of humor. I love Steve Purcell's sense of humor, so obviously I'll love this game sense of humor, right? Ooh, coat hanger. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam. Put it back. Nah. There. That fixed it. Aw. Ooh, lava lamp. It's so lampy. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so let's take it. Ah, yes. I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Da, 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 da. Office door! Let's get out there! Look at that little fishy. He's so cute. Well, I'll probably look at him later. Right now, let's explore! And who the hell is that? That is the lamest graffiti ever. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Yeah. No, hip-hop is the poetry of our time. It's just set to rhythm. What? Shut up. Who the hell is that? They say graffiti is the poetry. Just what we need. More lame poetry. We just said that. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. You made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Wait. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Ah, uh, yes. We should probably do something about that, though. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. 
How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. Yes. He's the genius behind the <laughs> what? ocular fitness program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Fried eggs are delicious. Ivo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ivo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Ooh. Where can I get it? Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco. You should get it. Hmm. Uh -huh. Sounds fascinating. But enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Yes, we can. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady Culture. Hmm. Is this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Hmm. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No. Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that. Ah, uh, that's good stuff. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV <sighs> schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Awesome! This is what the news says. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> it says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for Locust. Uh, what is that? It looks like he's got Boston big beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. You. Uh, Bosco's inconvenience. Guns, beer, meat, and candy. Bring the kids! Family may endanger. Patient stereo level lowered to general anxiety. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Maybe. Violently, if possible. Yee. You called? It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? Apparently NASA. NASA. Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Really? Where is this Lilliputian agitator? <laughs> Are you blind? He's right there. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard. <laughs> a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail. Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering mm. videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a throw like that. I hear that. That is a valid point. You know, white guy with a throw looks absolutely ridiculous, I'll say that. Well, unless you're a redhead, because, you know, curly hair, then it makes sense. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. No. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <sighs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. Uh, he's my favorite one-note character. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens. Sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, Lint, pastrami, hairspray, tail tail. Stop right there! Hairspray has no part in this. <laughs> oh, sure. That's what tail -tail. I like to believe. Oh, man, I can't believe I missed that one. I mean, I've played this game a couple of times, sure, but I never noticed that one. That's awesome. This game finds new and amazing ways to make me smile. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Okay. 
Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. Yeah, maybe the Marines could. But I'm ching! Because <laughs> cause all the pee. Yeah. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I awesome. know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? Oh, man, this is awesome. I love this. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Uh, that's a reference to the comic. Awesome. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. RPG parody. Awesome. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Sam and Max at the road. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. I don't even know what that reference is. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. No clue on that one either. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> awesome. Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Uh, okay, seriously, what do you got? What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Ooh, behind the counter! My favorite place on the counter! Behind it! I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, mm. I really want that. Me too! It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. An entire room of militant college students? Really? But couldn't you just, like, set up a career day instead? That'll get him running. <laughs> We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or one really big one. You mean white collar crime drive? Yes. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. Yes. That's not what I thought you were gonna say, but that's good too. All right. Nothing for us right now. Okay. You know what? Screw we'll everything else. Later, Let's go get some money. Now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evil doer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all. All oh, right. I guess I need to do that thing the commissioner told us to do, didn't he? Where the hell did he? What? What the hell? Had them. What? Who? What? Why? Three videos. Don't mind if I do. Gravy Culture's oh. Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. Wah, 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 wah. See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Mmm, sugar logs. What the? The hell? Stop going so fast. Let me Peter, talk to you. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. Okay, then. That works. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. <laughs> Gee, I why. Hey, kids. Guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Ooh. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, yeah. the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. I'm sure he's just really excited about that because he has such a clear and beautiful singing voice. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. 
Uh, I guess you could say when you get him mad enough, he might get pissed. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I want an autograph. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write to Max. Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Ew. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three. Awesome. Wait, what? Well, that's nice. What is? <laughs> uh, what is he doing anyway? What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Been there, done that. So, what about What's them? the story with these videos? Brady Culture's eyeball is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Huh. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Huh. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. It sure did. For the worse. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon. Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. This is like some sort of mystery wrapped in an enigma, covered in delicious bacon. I oh, like bacon. Nice. What is? Bacon! If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got yes, one, you, thanks. you said that already. Ooh, what's this? Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Yep, because that's where the Sunny D is. Not Joe's. They're mine, not Joe's. Ooh, microwave. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. That sounds like Go fun. On. Maybe another time. Aww. Ooh, sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This Jeez. week's flavor wheatgrass and meatloaf. Mmm. That's absolutely disgusting when you think about it. I mean, really? Wheatgrass? I think it's the tin green is much that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Wait, what? Okay. I think that now we know Max is gay. Um, till next time, folks, I guess. We're going to hold off a bit. No, just first, let me see if I can pause here. Here we go. And save. And save. All right. Until next time, folks. I'm Darren Forrest and Simon Max Rock.